Okay. Yep, just waiting for my eyes to stop bleeding and hurting. Whew. You know, this place doesn't look too bad. One nuclear bomb. Plenty of places still around. Use the mouse wheel to adjust your view. Yeah, when well, I guess when I'm in third person. Alright. You know what time it is. We have to obey our instinct. We have to head home. Oh, all these people who died around the vault. This guy tried to possibly hide in this little building. Ooh. More things for me to take. Rataway, right Fuse, 8 Ball. Everything's mine. <laughs> and I can send the Vault 111 button back down, maybe? No? Alright, I just figured maybe that worked, maybe it wouldn't. <laughs> I'm looting this area. Eventually, we're probably gonna come back here for that cry later. Although, I've never been a big fan of guns that freeze enemies. I'd rather just kill them, you know? Hey! Well, that is a bird survived. Let's check something. Do I see my gun on me? Nope. All right. <laughs> that was something I'd seen people talk about uh, in the leaks that I never participated in. Because I obey embargoes. But, yeah, I guess it's true. You can't see your gun when it's holstered. Which is a minor thing. <laughs> Very minor for me. All right. What else can I take? Oh, oh, it's a broken terminal. I was gonna say, more stuff for me to learn? Did someone maybe survive the explosion and then write about their history? I don't know. Let's see, can I pick up this body? I wanna drag it around. <laughs> Damn it, all right. We gotta head back to our house. We have to see what remains of it, if anything. Press left shift to sprint. Yeah, I got that one down. Don't worry, buddy. <laughs> I like how it even has a marker for the house already. Do I have an objective? Go home. Yeah, there you go. Show summary. I've made it out of Vault 111, only to find the world I knew completely destroyed by nuclear war. I need to head home and see if there's anything left. <laughs> yeah, after a couple hundred years, probably shouldn't be anything left, honestly. I mean, I'm just thinking of raiders and stuff trying to visit this area. Ah, oh, boy. Almost feels like we were here yesterday. Oh, look, it's Mr. Codsworth. We knew he was there. <laughs> He's still maintaining our bushes. Oh, Mr. Codsworth. She's dead. She can't be dead. They killed her. A better place. They killed her. They... They killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? No. God damn, Mr. Codsworth, you're doing a bad time of this. Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. <clears throat> you're suffering from hunger induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> I, I, I'm not being paranoid. I feel fine. But yeah, 200 years, what? 200 years? What? Are you... Uh, 
a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give or take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack. <laughs> you must be famished. Mm. At times, people withhold information or caps. You can attempt to persuade them into sharing both. Well, I do like food, but we're gonna ask him if he's okay. The difficulty of successfully persuading someone is indicated by color. Yellow, easy, orange, uh, medium, red, hard. Oh, that's interesting. Codsworth, you're acting... a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first... Ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! <laughs> Don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. And the car, the car, how do you polish rust? Oh, Mr. Godsworth, you poor, poor bastard. Oh, stop it. Focus. What do you know? Stay with me. <laughs> uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do this. Stay with me, pal. Focus. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were dead. I did find this hollow tape. I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise, but then, well, everything happened. Holotape? Hi, honey. Oh, no. A holotape? What's on it? I believe it's a private message for you. My etiquette protocols would not permit me to play it for myself. Any standard holotape reading device should be able to play it back. Oh, like that pip boy on your arm. That should work brilliantly. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. Yeah. Yeah, the missus. Anything dangerous around here? Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual, sir. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? Um, maybe. <laughs> I don't know if I want to summon out there to die. I don't know, Codsworth. I... Follow me. All right. Before you do that, though, I want to check something. On the inventory tab, you can favor items by pressing Q. All right. Well, that's good to know. I want to look at the thing that we got. How do I use it? We got a hollow tape. <laughs> and that's what I'm trying to find. For the maps tab, select the map marker with mouse one to fast travel to that location. Hold mouse one to drag it or to drag the map anywhere. Oh, all right. All radio stations have a broadcast range. The further you are from the you are from the source, the harder they'll become to pick up. So you're saying that if I was to be all the way down here at this random little island, we might not be able to hear any of the radio stations anymore. Intriguing. Local map. Ooh. <laughs> That's a, a little bit more of a harsh map to look at. Alright, seriously though. How do I see... That hollow tape? Uh, it's probably over here? It's in Misk. Alright. of a saint, my mom used to say. Look, with Sean and us all being home together, 
It's been an amazing year. But even so, I know our best days are yet to come. Mm, there'll be changes, sure. Things we need to adjust to. You'll rejoin the civilian workforce, and I'll shake the dust off my law degree. But everything we do, no matter how hard, we do it for our family. Now, say goodbye, Sean. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Come on. <laughs> bye, honey. We love you. It's like she knew she was gonna die. Son of a bitch, wife. Why you gotta do this to me? Oh man. We'll never take little Sean out on a tricycle. Unless he's all grown up. We don't know what uh, the time difference was between Sean being stolen away and us actually waking up. Alright. I need to try and take everything I can from my own house. <laughs> I'm coming, buddy. Uh, Mr. Codsworth? You gonna be all right? You cooking up a meal for us, huh? I dare say I'm slightly disappointed. Nothing here but a few flies. Wait. My senses are picking up movement in another house. Follow me. Oh. Oh, flies, giant flies. Jeez. Only Mr. Codsworth waited for me. Alright, we'll just follow him around. I'm sensing movement in another house. It's just gonna be more flies, buddy. Oh, jeez, look at that. Alright. I'll handle them this time, Mr. Codsworth. Hey, right, hold up. <laughs> My weapon isn't favorited, or it is. I just don't know how to fucking pick it up. Four. There we go. Alright. Uh, I actually want to not do that. <laughs> there we go. Alright. I want to focus on the head part. Select. Pew! Just get it warmed up. Codsworth. Mr. Anthony. My family isn't here? Oh. Mr. Sean's out there, Codsworth. I need to find him. What about Concord, sir? Plenty of people there. And last I checked, they only pummeled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. Concord? <laughs> You're useless. That's so mean. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. Uh, you remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge, out of the neighborhood, and past the red rocket station? I shall remain here and secure the home front. <laughs> Alright. You do that, Codsworth. Don't worry, we'll come back for you. One day, I'll start up another place. With other survivors. And I want him to be there. <laughs> I like that this radio still is tuned in to the perfect stations. Alright, we gotta head out of here. Or maybe the radio just picks up everything. Alright, we have to head over to where? Map? World map. We are heading over to Concord, which actually isn't that far away. Alright. And we'll stop by at this Red Rocket truck stop. Put a marker on it. There you go. Wait, what was that? Oh, I can make the pit boy just kind of like... Like this, I can examine things like, What's going on over there? Oh yeah, that's right! A death claw! Alright, <laughs> Time to choose a rocket! <laughs> I 
I'm gonna go through the water. I wanna see what happens if I get radiated. Or this water will even irradiate me. Yep, there, there you go. Alright. So the way the radiation works in this game now is that rather than just like slowly killing you, it reduces your max health. There you go. Visit a doctor, use right away to restore health lost to rats. So is that permanent until I actually do something to get rid of it? We will see. Well, I'm just gonna run around with a slight dip in my health. A very slight dip. Ah, our favorite place, the Red Rocket! Yes! And that's why! Oh! Hello! God, you could have, like, bit the shit out of me or something. We're saving. In case I say something bad to the dog and he gets offended. Hello, boy! Oh my god, hello! Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You lose your owner, buddy. Okay, then. Let's stick together. Oh. <laughs> Face your dog and press E to begin issuing commands. Hey. To issue command, target a location, object, or enemy and press E. Okay. How are you doing, buddy? Dog found something. What'd you find? Issue a command, target a location or enemy, and press E. Betcha. Hey boy. Think you can find something for me? Dog didn't find anything. Well, excuse you. Press tab to stop issuing command. So if I I can look at him from anywhere and be like, hey. hey, head over there. Go over there. Nice. All right. Grab that. <laughs> I thought he was running at me <laughs> with the stim pack. I was like, wow, you already got it. Grab anything useful. He did it! Yay! Oh, he's a good boy! Oh, you're a good Get boy! Back. Oh my god! Ah! Kill that! Jesus! Tab! This is a lot of enemies. Alright. I'm trying to shoot their heads and shit, but it, it doesn't automatically click it there. I missed! Son of a bitch. Oh, damn! Good job, boy. Your name will just be Dog. Hey. How you doing, buddy? Hey, boy. You know any tricks? Oh, my God! <laughs> I'm a fan of dogs, if you haven't, if you haven't already noticed. <laughs> Alright, we got our first companion. We don't know if he'll stay with us forever. Cause you know, there might be times where I want to take a guy with a gun out rather than the dog. I wish I could take both, but that's what mods are for eventually. Hopefully. Power armor station already! Wow, okay. Oh, well, this place does keep you safe. Weapon workbench, normal workshop. Alright. The workshop allows you to build, adjust, and remove nearby sh objects and structures. Move between options with the... Le or going left or right, and press up to find the object or structure you wish to build. If your selected object appears green, press E to build it. If it appears red, try adjusting its location until it changes green. Workshop objects are built from components, and when building an object, components are automatically harvested from junk items in your inventory or the workshops. Interesting. So, if I say I don't want this tire, I could scrap that, and that, and eventually make this? How do I choose it, though? <laughs> I'm pressing buttons. This person cannot be assigned to a supply line. Oh, I don't have a supply line yet. Alright, so if I press E, it chooses... Ah, alright. I have no idea what the hell I'm doing with this, by the way. Tab. If I press E, it goes into the area. Gotcha. All right. Now I'm starting to understand the controls. So you have the baseline, and you press E to select that baseline, and then whatever buttons, the actual arrow keys to go through, 
And then you can say, hey, I want to build this wood thing. We're not going to do that right now because I don't want to start building up a sh an area just yet. But that's interesting. What about this weapons workbench? Let's see. I can give it iron sights, apparently. Oh, but that uses nuclear materials. I don't like the sound of that. Nuclear materials for glowing iron sights. Uh, I don't know how to get those, so we're going to be cautious about that. But I do want to look through here so I can be like, oh, okay. Improved recoil and hipfire accuracy. We'll do this. And that's all I could do. <laughs> Unless I want to give myself those iron sights. It doesn't look like... Yeah, it doesn't change my iron sights all that much. It's not worth it. Ooh, I can rename the item. All right. Uh, we're gonna call this gun my first love. Just because it's my first pistol. <laughs> there. Modding on crafting stations and workshop locations will automatically share items you store in them, but only if you've unlocked the workshop in their location. Neat. All right. So hopefully that will take a lot of my scrap stuff away from me whenever I go by. And we'll leave everything else here. Maybe. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of learning. We're gonna be playing this game for a very long time. Jesus, dog, you make so much noise. Ooh, red rocket terminal. What's gonna be on it? We will find out in a second. Alright. Uh, October service logs. So what happened on the day before the blast? Replace the atomic alternator in a 2073 Corvogra. Okay. No, it's just an actual business log. Coolant link in one of those new 2077 Corvoga coupes. Bubble top. They don't make them like they used to. <laughs> Business entries, new equipment installed, rows of restoration, safe storage. Ooh, Jim, take care of those barrels before you leave tonight. Inspectors are coming first thing in the morning. Just hide them with the others. We'll figure out a longer term solution. Hey, if nature's gonna favor us with a cave right below the shop, who am I to argue? Say what? There's a cave here? Whoops. Hold up. I wanna look at this Rosa restoration. That Rosa widow in Sanctuary Hills is restoring an old classic Corvoga, uh, Corvega with her son. Nice woman, pretty. Kid seems like kind of a brat, but I guess that's the point of her doing this project with him. Anyway, she's been doing a hell of a job. I was amazed at how much her and the kid have been able to do on their own. The only reason she even came to me is because the engine is out of her depth. I'm sure we can help her out. Alright. There are hidden supplies around here. And we need to find those hidden supplies. Holy crap. So can I just do this? Like, alright. Scrap. <laughs> I don't like you wood crates or you tires. <laughs> I can deconstruct everything. Nice. I think whenever I build stuff, it's gonna have to be something I do a little bit off screen. All right. So there's an underground. Ooh, new Coca Cola. Nice and fresh. Wow. But there's an underground building underneath here. Or underground cave. And supposedly the barrels have something to do with it, so I need to find some barrels. But first we're looking at this chemistry shop. Alright. So I can make grenades, I can make healing items. What do I need for a stim pack? For a stim pack, I need two antiseptics and a blood pack and steel. Steel looks like it'll be pretty fucking easy to get. I don't know about the blood pack or antiseptic though. Glowing blood pack! 75 rad resist for 10 minutes. Ooh. <laughs> Refreshing beverage. Removes all rads and cures addictions. That's nice. Syringer ammo. Chance to frenzy target for two minutes. Does 30 points of damage over 10 seconds to a target. Chance on death for target to spawn a blowfly. <laughs> what? That's fucking weird. I can inject people with fucking larva apparently with my bullets. 
That sounds scary as hell. <laughs> right. But that is cool. I'm making little things that I can use to upgrade my bullets. Alright. I'm looking for these goddamn barrels. Or I'm finding more damn workbenches. Holy shit, this place is amazing, apparently. I can do something with my new jumpsuit. They don't have any differences between them. Okay. I can also cook some food. Baked bloatfly. Uh, baked bloatfly. Increased radiation and resistance. Do I have anything that can get rid of rad stuff here? Removes 50 points of radiation. Okay, yeah, there you go. I have to kill mutant hounds for that, though. Oh. Uh, I guess. I mean, if I'm going to be looting almost every single thing in my way, it's probably an inevitability. All right. I'm going to look around real quick. I want to find these barrels, if they actually exist. Aha! Here we go. I wasn't supposed to be looking for the barrels, I was supposed to be looking for the cave that's slightly away from the area. Oh shit, I didn't read that. Mole rat den! Ah, uh, this is where those rats came from. Oh, this will be fun. Alright, boy. You're invincible, so, uh... Heads up. Go in there. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that scared me. I thought I got like blown up. So, from what I remember, the dog's actually invincible. Or at least he can't die. He might be able to get like knocked out or something, but he can't die. So, that's very important for us to know. But we are down here to possibly get some cool loot, or I guess just kill a bunch of mole rats, wherever the hell they are. Man, they had holes set up down here. I'm sure it looked a lot better before the bombs hit. <laughs> Ooh, what is this? Mr. Benson, on behalf of the Boston Regional Office, I would like to congratulate you and your team on winning the 2076 Trash Busters Award for the greatest year-to-year -year waste reduction by a single store. Respect for the environment is an integral part of our corporate image, and we appreciate your innovative efforts in this regard. Oh, that's funny. So, they won the award for being environmentally friendly because they fucking threw everything down here instead. <laughs> At least that's what I get from it. I'm trying to gather as many of these little materials as possible so that later on, if I ever need something that's like, Oh, you need 50 fucking blood brain fungus! I can be like, Oh, I got that hours ago. Don't worry. Ah! Damn it, dog! I'm not trying to shoot you, I'm trying to kill the rat. Alright, what else do we have in here? Many things that we could take. I didn't mean to do that. I was holding V to see if maybe because we're still kind of near our workshop, we can do stuff. Oh no! This is a bad idea. I mean, I got health back, but I didn't want the radiation part. Ooh, a safe. Ooh, a safe. Well, it requires a novice. I can handle this. Move the mouse to adjust the bobby pin. Press A to turn the screwdriver. If the spot you've chosen is correct, the lock will rotate and open. Ah! Works just like always. Alright. Uh, we got some ammo, a fragmentation round, holy shit, and a pipe revolver rifle. Or a fragmentation mine, I didn't mean to say round. Dang y'all! Alright. Now that I've leveled up once, what's something that I want from the beginning that'd be helpful? <laughs> I do not know. I didn't actually think this through. I give myself uh, a little bit more health. I can make it so that way I get more damage from non-automatic rifles. We'll have to see. All right. How the hell do I go down again? <laughs> Okay, right mouse. <laughs> I click right mouse and that allows me to drag it down. So, there are things I care about and things I don't care about. I don't really care about melee damage. 
I'm not sure what kind of weapons I'm going to be using, so... I have to be a little bit cautious about that as well. Shoot. We might just save our skill thing until after we, we've actually accumulated stuff. And worst comes to worst, I could always actually just end up leveling this up. Or like these base abilities. But I don't want to waste my first skills on that. To throw grenades or replace mines, equip them in the Pip-Boy, then hold and release left alt. That sounds like a weird way to throw a grenade, but okay. So hold up, I got a little bit of armor. Uh... Leather... <laughs> leather right leg. Alright! Now I have a little bit of armor on my right leg. I don't know if that's gonna do much for me, but... <laughs> oh well. More brain fungus, yes! I hope this stuff is useful. Otherwise I just have like 20 of it sitting in my inventory. So that's it, I guess, in this little area. We got our safe opened up. We didn't break our... our bobby pin. <laughs> that makes me happy. Although very intriguing that we had a loading thing there. I hear it's kind of like a big mixed bag. There are a lot of places that you can just enter and there's no loading screen at all, and there's a lot of places that you do have to enter a loading screen. It'd be nice if everything was super seamless, but I don't mind that much. Woof. What'd you find, boy? Oh, a bat. <laughs> he picks it up. That's interesting. I guess I could equip it. Ooh, Nuka Cola Quantum. Where you? Where are going now? Yeah, I hear you, boy. Don't worry. What do you got? Is it the bobby pin box? All right. Oh, say save. Another save. Oh, it's an advanced save. Lock tight. Son of a bitch. Well. Oh, there's my flashlight. That's not what I want. I'm trying to open up my chart list, but I guess I have to wait until I'm leveled up. Okay. <laughs> I will, uh, I didn't expect to do this, but we'll put a point into advanced locks. Confirm. There you go. I like how it gave me some bobby pins. Whoops, slightly left. There you go. Nice. Ooh, hey, look at that! The gold side, uh, the glow sided light 10 millimeter pistol. I don't need to use nuclear materials, I just have to find the thing in the world, so let's see. It doesn't do more damage than what I currently have, and actually has less accuracy? What? I'll take all of it. That's weird, though. <laughs> it's a worse pistol, basically. I guess, to be fair, it's something that was out in the world. I'm stealing so many things that look like they actually might belong to people who are currently alive. I say that because, like, obviously, Jet and stuff. I don't think Jet existed in the past. Ooh, look at all these houses! Okay, all attacks have a damage type! Ballistic, energy, radiation, or poison. You hear something more? Or are you just gonna keep saying that every time I pop up the pit boy? <laughs> you know what? I do have another gun. Hold up. Pipe Revolver Rifle. It does six more damage than my first love. But I don't have that much ammo for it, so I'm actually not going to use it. I'm a big fan of using uh, things that I have a lot of ammo for. Unless it's super powerful. Then I, 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 if I'm in a bad situation, I'll use it. I'm trying to find more houses that actually have like an open area I can go into. A lot of these places are kind of locked off. Real goddamn tight. Uh-oh. Someone's getting shot! Oh Jesus, that's a lot of gunfire. I think the world's implying that I'm gonna have to go investigate it. <laughs> well, there's so many other things I have to do in this, like take more Nuka-Cola bottles? Yeah. Those are always valuable. I think I see see people. Yep, there we go. All right, fuck it. I guess we're gonna investigate this place a little bit later on. Hey, stop shooting people! Oh shit, there's a guy fucking here! 
I didn't expect that. That's a nice head you've got there. Let's see what happens if I shoot it like five times. Okay. Obviously my character's not all that skilled at that. Blah, no, I'm dead. Alright. Fuck vats. I'm not leveled up for that. The stealth boy is a personal device that generates a modulating refraction field. Interesting. I wonder how many times I'll find that. Oh, jeez. Son of a bitch. Got it. Alright, note to self. Save a little bit more often. I can actually change this. Alright. Uh... Automatic save would be under gameplay? Change it to every five minutes? There we go. Every five minutes the Pip-Boy will save. I also could enable this Pip-Boy app, but let's be honest. It's a lot safer for me to just open my Pip-Boy in-game if I'm in the middle of combat. Alright. Oh, that was unfortunate. <laughs> I tried getting a headshot with VATS. But my VATS, uh... My VAT chances are just so low! Because I don't have my stuff equipped, uh, leveled up for it. In fact, what do I need for it? Is it agility? Uh, affects the number of action points in VATS, no. Is it perception? Ah, there you go. Affects weapon accuracy in VATS. Got you. Well, eventually, maybe, <laughs> we'll use a lot of vats, but it's always gonna end up just being better for me to shoot things myself, right? I should also be a little bit more prepared about other things. Oh, come on, an expert lock? The world hates me. Stop telling me about damage types, goddammit. It's blocking out half my inventory. Okay. We're gonna try this a little bit. More damage. <laughs> desperate times, desperate measures, you know? And we'll do a actual save, so that way later on if- or If anything bad happens and I accidentally convince everyone to hate me in like five seconds, I can fix that situation. Can I get up here? Eh, nope, all right. <laughs> I tried to jump up strategically, but it didn't work out. All right, I do have a grenade, right? No, I only have my fragmentation mine. Right? Okay. I like how they just turn around. Like, wait, shit! <laughs> you again? Oh, he hit my head. Very nice. Okay. We're gonna- we're gonna heal with a stim pack real quick. Stim pack! Oh, I have to go through an animation for it? Alright. <laughs> that is something that makes sense! I don't know if there's anybody left. Hello? I'm not getting shot at. Oh, jeez, fuck! You know what? I'm gonna- oh. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm gonna smack you in the face! What about a laser musket? Oh. I was holding E to automatically equip it. It wasn't doing it. <laughs> Holy crap, I'm already at 146 out of 260 weight. Alright. We're gonna equip all this raider stuff. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to actually equip <laughs> the road leathers. I didn't realize it was the stuff underneath, maybe? But my vault suit doesn't add out for any damage resistance, so never mind. <laughs> right, I'm just trying to look through all my stuff. Completed out of time. 
And they want me to use this laser rifle, short laser musket. I feel like this pipe revolver rifle ended up being a little bit more inaccurate than I figured it was going to be. Oh well. Holy crap. <laughs> I can have a lot of favorites. Then we will put this as... Five. Oh, jeez. Yeah, there's trouble in here. Okay. Hello, Raider! Oh, you're dead. Oh, I gotta reload it. <laughs> wow. Okay, so it's one shot, then reload. At least I know that early on, because it says two shots! It shouldn't say two shots if it's gonna fire one. It's pointless, then. I agree! No British occupation! Oh, jeez. None of them ended up being, uh, <laughs> raiders in this room. We're being cautious. I do have to agree! No taxation without representation! Oh god, I look fucking scary. Hold up. We're not equipping that. I don't want to look scary. I want to look all right. Gas mask with gl with goggles. Still looks scary. No. No, 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 no. Mhm. Mm we'll wear a helmet when it looks like it's uh friendly. Oh, I can unlock the gate. Why not? I broke one of my bobby pits already! There's not even a point to open the gate, but it gives you XP, so why not? Are there enemies down here? No. You know, the area actually might just be safe in general. Ooh, hello. Alright, I don't remember how to do these exactly. Let's see. Select a potential password with mouse 1. If your chosen password is incorrect, the number of letters that match the terminal's password, both left uh, letter and position, uh, will be displayed on the screen. Okay, what about bases? Likeness equals 1? Ugh, okay. Likeness equals 0. Board. So it's gonna end up being something with a fucking B, but obviously we have to restart. Okay. How about... Foyer? Nope. Stash. Oh, that works. And with this security core, I can take their fusion core. Oh. Oh. We're not gonna do that because that probably powers up the building and that would be bad to take. For now, at least. Taking everything until I'm goddamn encumbered. Okay, we gotta be safe. We're being cautious. And we haven't even seen the other people. <laughs> Are you guys alive, survivors? Yep, they're they're good. All right. I don't know how to get up to you guys. Probably over there. Yeah, okay, I see it now. <laughs> I like how we just strip these guys. <laughs> just leave them out in the open. This is where they'll be forever, or until their body just disappears. I'm trying to be cautious because there could still be one guy left just chilling out. Yep. Or don't! <laughs> he fucking detected me a little bit earlier than I anticipated. Oh, hey. This is a cool mural. 
From the old times to the new times, this is America. This mural commemorates the many sacrifices of the brave men and women of the United States Armed Forces. From Lexington and Concord to the shores of Iwo Jima, from the Sea of Tranquility to the Anchorage Frontline, Americans have fought and died through the ages to secure our nation's freedom. May their sacrifices remind us all that freedom is a privilege afforded to the many, yet hard won by a noble few. Aww. I'm definitely feeling patriotic due to this museum. God bless America. But definitely not these raiders. We're gonna say those are the last couple of guys. I'm coming in there, and I'm gonna skin every what? last one of you. There you are, you little bastard. Okay, uh <laughs> kind of overestimated what I could do with the little uh, melee attack. Hey, don't you hit my dog! <laughs> Oh, you guys had the door open? You guys could have ended up dying. Oh no, they opened it up for me. That's why he said, come on. I looted you already? Oh, I guess... <laughs> I guess her head or one of her bits of her fell down and I could loot it. Because that's how it works in Fallout. <laughs> Ooh, what's this? A microscopic atom of a person? Hey, I can loot their entire being here. <laughs> Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minutemen. Maybe... Minutemen? <sighs> nope. So now I'm traveling backward in time? Protect the people at a minute's notice. That was the idea. So I joined up, wanted to make a difference. And I did, but... Things uh, fell apart. Uh, now it looks like I'm the last Minuteman left standing. The world's changed so much. None of this makes sense. You alright? Listen, we need your help, and then maybe we can help you, huh? What brought you out here? Uh, my son. My son Sean's been kidnapped. He's not even a year old. That's messed up. I'm sorry. I know how this world can be. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Ghouls? What are ghouls? Wow. You really aren't from around here, are you? Ghouls are... irradiated people. Most are just like you and me. They look pretty messed up and live for a long time, but they're still just people. Nope. The ones I'm talking about are different. The radiations rotted their brains, made them feral. They'll rip you apart just as soon as look God at you. Damn it. Anyway. We figured Conquer would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But... Well, we do have one idea. Okay, well what is it? Let's hear it. Sturgis. Tell him. There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of Cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. What makes that power armor so special? A West Tech internalized servo system, that's what. Inside that baby, super is the new normal. You'll be stronger, tougher, resistant to rads, and... Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertebrate. Do that. And those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? <laughs> His line cut off. <laughs> okay, yeah. Huh. Could work. It'll work, provided we can reactivate the suit. It's totally out of juice. Probably has been for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. So, what's the solution? What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. 
Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. I already did. <laughs> Actually, I already grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. All right. Well, I do want to look around. Museum operations terminal. Unlock novice. Robco fun. Nice. You've collected an issue of Robco Fun. Includes the Atomic Command holotape. Ooh, fun. Free holotape with this issue. Robco Fun. Atomic Command. Taking it. We're also going to unlock this museum operations terminal for you guys. <laughs> I'm glad he backed off for it. All right. Move. Uh, okay, two of the letters are the same. How about... Notes. So we're going to say O and E are the ones that are the same, or the likeness, which means we're going to go with hopes. Nope, still O and E. Power. Ha ha! I was about to just back out, but we did it. I already opened the security gate. All right. Look at all the shit that's going on here. Roaches in the basement. Anchorage exhibit. After hours, Tom Fuller. What's going on here? For the last time, the red coat mannequin displays are not toy soldiers and are not to be played with after hours. Two of them have scuffed paint, and this morning one of the foot regiment miss one of the foot regiment pieces was missing this arm. This sort of horsing around will not be tolerated. Anyone caught engaging in such behavior will be written up, docked an hour's pay, and charged for charge or tar bleh, charged for damages. Ouch! <laughs> They're gonna lose pay and then get charged anyways. And what happened in the final entry? This is Megan Hayes. I'm a tour guide here at the Concord Museum of, of Freedom. I'm so scared when everyone saw the flash. I'm so scared when everyone saw the flashes. They left. Even Mr. Nass, he just ran away and left me here. Jerk. And then one of those armored helicopter things crashed into the roof. I saw soldiers, but they looked freak out. I just hid from them. I've only seen. An, I've only been in Massachusetts a month. I don't really know anyone, and I don't know where to go. I broke the lock on the curator's desk and took the the gun. I'm gonna hide in one of the rooms for a few days until things calm down. If somebody reads this, please come find me. But if you try to... If I try to what? <laughs> Damn it, another one of these things gets cut off. <laughs> if you- if I try to what? Uh... Maybe that's when the nuclear bomb went off and it killed him. <clears throat> Through the back room and up to the roof. I'll hold them off from here. Go! Sturgis. That armor may be old. But it's got a standard interface. Just jack the fusion core in. Careful, you okay? Kid. What's going on? Yes. Are we Something getting out of here? Coming. And, and it's it's angry. Mama Murphy. Now look who dog meat brought to us. Dog meat. So, he's your dog? Ah, uh, he ain't my dog. No, sir. Dog meat. He's what you call his own man. <laughs> you can't own a free spirit like that. But he chooses his friends and sticks with them. He'll stay by you now. I saw it. Please, tell me what you know. Just listen to me, acting <laughs> a crazy old lady. It's the chems, you see. Give old Mama Murphy the sight. Been that way since I was a girl. <laughs> uh, okay, the sight. <laughs> we're just gonna we're gonna indulge her. That's incredible. I can see a bit of what was and what will be, and even. What is right now? Uh, and right now, I can see this something coming, drawn by the noise and the chaos. And it is angry. What is it? Mama Murphy, I need more, please. I'm I'm sorry, kid. 
but I just don't know. The sight ain't always clear, but believe me when I tell you, it ain't a raider. <sighs> but I'm tired now. And if I ain't mistaken, you've got a job to do. I definitely do. Gotta go grab that fusion core. I said I had it, but I don't. Ooh, percep a perception bubble head. Excellent. Shoot from the get-go. Wow, if I had known that, that I was gonna get a bobblehead head so immediately, I would have I would have been more effective in my special placements. Yoink. You all right? Oh. Oh, God, don't. Why? Why? Uh. Okay, he's not all right. We're gonna go back down. We need our armor. If only I had taken it. All right, no need to worry about fall damage that much. Yoink. So did it knock out the power? That was the thing I was worried about the most. I didn't want to like knock out the power for these guys when they're trying to like stage a defense. Suddenly they have no lights. <sighs> All right, so I'm assuming we go through here upstairs. Yeah. Interesting. I want to try something out. Someone told me that if you adjust the color of the Pip-Boy, it actually changes the light that it produces. And that sounds cool. <laughs> so let me do that. So if we go Pip-Boy, we'll change it to be more around white. Will that change the colors to white? Yep, there you go, all right. Gonna be a little bit harsh on the eyes to look at, but it makes a better glow. <laughs> or we could always leave it green. 